What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make elephant toothpaste. First of all, we need safety equipment. So like, goggles. Johnny, put the goggles on. Yes. We need gloves. And we need black box. And then after that, we're going to need flasks, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, today I'm using like a third person, potassium iodide. And food coloring! Sure, we need food coloring. And we need... What is this? Soap! Soap, dish soap. Don't worry guys, I'm going to let them go when I'm doing these things. First I'm going to show you guys the reaction without the dish soap and the food coloring. So it's going to be only between the hydrogen peroxide and the potassium iodine. Let's see what happens. So. Okay. Johnny, you can go now. Yeah, just stay there right now, Ricard. This is 30% hydrogen peroxide. Hey guys, today I'm so excited for this and I'm scared. Let's see what happens. It's on fire. Wow. That was amazing. You know what happened guys? In this reaction, oxygen escaped. Yes, you guys saw. So, next reaction, I'm gonna put food coloring to make it more colorful and put the dish soap. So the oxygen that escaped is gonna be trapped in the, uh, in the bubbles. It's gonna be like a kind of toothpaste. Are you guys ready for this? I wanna do it, I wanna do it. Can you put your hand over the flask? Is it warm? Yes, it is warm. That's the reaction uh, releases heat, guys, so be careful. Alright, guys, in this reaction, I'm gonna put food coloring and the salt. I'm gonna and put food coloring! You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, wait a moment. First, let me put the uh, hydrogen protein inside, okay? Before we do it, we have to mix it. It's time for reaction, right? Yeah! Whew. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Wow, guys, check this out. It's still going. Wow. This one is, oh, this one's, this one's supposed to be blue. It's like green now. It's still going on. Yeah, it's still going. Guys, there's a lot of gases in there. What do you think, Johnny? Good! Guys, look, it's like yellow and blue and green. Oh, and this one is like pink and orange. It's still going, like it's not stopping. Now we're going to try this experiment using the potassium iodine crystals undissolved. 
Okay, so we put that in. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, what we can see here is that this reaction does occur, but it's so slow. It's better to dissolve the potassium iodine crystals. Since the crystals are whole, it takes time for them to melt, and that's why the reaction takes longer. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more experiments, projects, do-it-yourself videos, then subscribe and check out our other social media, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Until the next project!